home, you know, I feel like everybody, you know, came out today real fast, you know, flying around, you know, just that urge of eager to get better, you know, not uh, team to, you know, have the same repeat for each week. So I think it was a different um, drive today, you know, with everybody coming out, flying around, you know, going to the second part of the season, you know, trying to make a you know, big turnaround, you know, for this program. So I think that's the biggest thing, the biggest <laughs> takeaway. Everybody came out, you know, eager to work, you know, want to turn the team around. Thoughts on um, how Omar performing in place of DJ? Oh, Omar, yeah, Omar, yeah. he did, you know, very outstanding. You know, he had a good week of pre preparation. So, you know, it turned out, you know, showed on the field. You know, it start, all starts at practice. So, you know, what he did at practice carried on, carried on to the field. So, you know, so Omar had an outstanding game, but they finished with like eight, ten tackles, so, something like that. Like, real high, maybe. But yeah, he had a good game. It started with his preparation and practice. Your, your progress since you've arrived. Uh, how, how do you feel about how things are progressing for you learning how to be fast? Thanks, Kitty. Yeah, I feel like I've took a big jump from one to the week. Um, going from Georgia to um, Clemson on last week, you know, with, you know, each week, I may mess up on something, but, you know, that's something you learn from these mistakes. And I don't make the same mistakes twice. So just my urge of, you know, the consistency of, you know, Play in, play out, and practice in games. Well, that's what, that's you know, what you get a part of the defense, you know, it helps me play faster when I know it. So I feel like I've made a big jump from day one to, to that. How much of you are going to be more of a leader when it comes to the younger linebackers like Pryor and Wilson and all those things we brought up? Is it different from Sully Rod Auburn? Yes, it was. Maybe, well, maybe like two months ago. I think they were clowning me about my age. Uh, I was the oldest one in the room. I called me the home. So, you know, I kind of think it's a funny thing, but, you know, this is my first time that I actually had to take like a lot of guys on the wing. You know, being the oldest in the room, now especially DJ out, you know, he was a couple months older than me. We was really about the same age, the same class. Since he's out, it was really, you know, I want to take a bigger role for me from this line of the room. You know, now we can go. Yeah, I take, you know, full responsibility of that. You know, I don't have a problem with that. I always felt like I was a leader, not more of a vocal leader, but I felt like now in this position to help me to become a vocal leader since I'm older than the room. I know guys, you know, take in things from older people. And now I have that something to do with it. Now that you've kind of been in the defense for six weeks, have you kind of seen things easier and being able to play faster? Yeah, 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 it's most definitely. Especially, you know, being in the room with Coach Randy Shannon, you know, he teaches us things, you know, small things that you can pick up, you know, play recognition and help you play faster and things like that. So you expect what play to come yeah, if you get like a snap key before it's more than the snap starts. So you know, like you said, week six, you know, you might say, all right, this is the just because they're being day in and day, 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 day out within the defense, you're gonna have to get better each day. Kim, you guys were very good in the red zone this past week against Clemson, and uh, not quite so good in the outside the red zone. Uh, but what, what, uh, what do you think? What, what do you attribute your red zone defense to? What do you attribute your red zone success to? I really just say, you know, it all boils down to not letting anybody cross that line, you know, in the end zone, you know, you don't want to see an offense put up six, you really see them put up three, you really see them not put up any, but if anything, you know, it feels, you know, at the least, but, you know, it all boils down to, you know, just one man doing his assignment, you know, one-on-one -on -one matchup with each person when they come out to that point of the field, you know, just, you know, just that urge of not wanting to see that person cross a goal, so that's really the biggest thing. You know, in terms of uh, in the open field, or, they did gain quite a lot of yardage. They had a lot of opportunities in the red zone. What are some of the things you guys need to correct to be better? In the open field? I'd probably say the biggest thing would probably be communication. You know, everybody's just getting their feet lined, getting their feet, you know, lined on the ground, you know. Ready to play, play recognition. Everybody talks to the good night. Really would just, you know, help me. Make, let the game time, play a lot uh, slower for us. If everybody talk, everybody be on the same page. So I feel like communication is probably the biggest thing. And we're going to be doing a better job yeah, um, this week with learning how to communicate with each other and which will help us play faster. That's the biggest thing.